Hi, I'm Kenneth Weidsta. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photography talks. Today I'm going to talk about lighting and lighting ratios. So one of the most important things that I ever learned when I was first learning about photography and cinematography, I was taking classes at NYU in cinematography and I was learning from Terry Path who was the cinematographer who taught Martin Scorsese lighting, which I always thought was so cool. And we would set up lighting in a studio and we would have a 10,000 watt light and a 5,000 watt light and some 2000s and some 1000s, they call them 2Ks and 1Ks and 5Ks and 10Ks and we would have all these lights in different parts of this room set up and when you expose for one thing that is lit depending on where light doesn't hit there were parts that were black on film and it would be like how is it possible to have 40,000 watts of light on in this room and there's still dark parts? Well, the answer is ratios. And ratios are the difference between a brightly lit photograph and a dark photograph or a photograph that's got a lot of contrast. So like right now, the front side of my face is lit, but this side isn't lit so well. It's lit somewhat. But there's a soft light, one of those side lights over there. But if I hold up a white reflector, which is a piece of paper in this case, you can see how it fills in the side of my face differently. There's a marked difference in how light changes and the ratio changes because I added another light source, a reflector. And you can find the sun hitting a white panel truck outside or a tractor trailer that's one of my favorite places to photograph people because it's like, look, the sun is coming down and creating this huge source of broad light bouncing off of that white truck or a white building or anything that's bright. And you see that and you can use that. That white truck becomes this. And you don't stand the person in the sun. You want the person only in this light. If that were the sun, it would be way too intense. I'd be all squinty. But the idea is if you can find a reflective surface, this is a great source of soft light. You can use this kind of a thing to soften the shadows and to make the ratio smaller. So a one-to-one -one ratio would be this side probably has the same light over there and both sides are lit completely evenly, there's no shadows. A two-to-one ratio is that light gets moved back twice as far a three to one, it goes even further away. Basically, when the ratio gets higher, this side gets darker. And when the ratio gets closer to one, one to one, it becomes even and there's no shadows at all. And I like shadows. I think it's important to photograph with shadows and often when I'm doing portraits, I like to have the shadow in the front side of the face. So if I were shooting with this lighting setup, I'd shoot from this side, not this side. Because I like foreground to be a little darker and the light coming from behind and illuminating noses and eyes and there's a, a way different feeling between a front light portrait and a portrait shot where that main side is not the bright side. And again, it's different tastes. It's no right or wrong. It's just sort of a, a style choice. But ratio is the most important thing. If you have a person whose half their face is lit and the other side is completely black, well, chances are that light's coming from one side and there's no light on this side. And if there's no fill, there's no car, there's no truck, you're going to have bright and black. And often cameras and film sees a little bit more contrasty than we see. So if we see somebody's face and they're in bright, bright sun on one side of their face like that, and this side looks like it's got, it's not that dark. Well, it'll be darker on film because photography tends to increase. That may be not so dark to our eyes, but to film it is. And so when you learn to see light and you learn to see ratios of light, you know, if you're by a campfire and everybody's looking at the campfire and you photograph them looking at the campfire, their face will have some light on it. But if they turn away from the campfire, now they're all dark. And the only way to get their photo is say, hey, turn back to the fire where the light is. But it's about ratios. It's about how much is that light compared to how much is this light. 
outside at night, that's why you can get their face lit, but everything else in the shot may go dark because there's, that light doesn't last very far. It only goes as far as their face. And then as it goes beyond their face, it really drops off quickly. So lighting ratios are really important. And when you realize it has nothing to do with volume of light, quantity of light, it has to do with quality of light. So the sun on a side lit photograph can make this side dark just because it's so under exposed compared to how bright that sun is on the half side of your face if you shoot with a side light. If you shoot with uh, reflectors, you soften up that ratio and you basically bring it from maybe a four or five to one, which is very dramatic, kind of film noir, divided face, bright, dark lighting. You could bring it to a three to one or a two to one. You probably can't bring it to a one to one because you can't make a reflector equal the volume of light coming from the sun. But ratio is what we see and what we photograph. And the more you learn about lighting and the more you learn about how light falls on things and how it works with things, the more you can predict what you're going to get. And then you can modify it and say, I'm going to do this a little this way or a little that way to make it so that I can change that ratio. Or bring in a reflector, go stand by that truck. All right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button and we'll talk again tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. If you can, support me with the Patreon link.